All right, happy. New Year! Happy January 1st, 2021. Can't believe it's already 2021. Tell us what you guys did in the yes. comments to bring in the new year. What did you do for the new year? We did nothing. But anyway, so since it is the new year, we want to talk about goals. Goals. Um, we're going to talk about what the goals we created for last year and how... Uh, poor of a job we did at keeping those mm. goals. <laughs> which... The only saving grace is that we can just say like 2020 as a whole just wrecked everybody. Everybody's goals. Uh, yeah. And so even the goals that 2020 had nothing to do with, <clears throat> we can blame it on 2020. So yeah. Yeah. So we're going to share what our 2020 goals were. It really is laughable looking at these now. I don't know how we're going to do this really big board. Marriage goals. I don't want it to cover your face. Okay. Our marriage goals. Family prayer time. We didn't do the best of that. No. The intent was like have a routine of every night or every morning together out loud. We pray together. We did not establish that. I feel like, like it I came in like we waves. Would. For sure. There were definitely different seasons where we would sit down and pray together about stuff. And we would do a good job and then there would be seasons like the current season where we didn't do it as much yeah um tithing we actually did establish this much, much better than yeah. In the past. yeah yeah murray murray i'm not the best at giving i don't i don't know why that is like just it doesn't come naturally to me to want to give money over um, and so that was actually something God laid on my heart that I wanted to, us to do better at. Okay. Pray for kids. Uh, did this until, uh, God did not answer the prayer how I wanted him to. Yes. Yeah, so very quickly, I don't know if some of the people watching this know, um, Addie and I are not supposed to be able to biologically have children. Um, but we thought going into this year, we would pray for that miracle to occur, um, and we would try. And um, I had a specific date. Specific date in mind. That I wanted. Um, because we were taught, pray specifics. Mm -hmm. um, don't be vague. Give God exactly what's on your heart. Um, and we did. Um, the answer was not now. And... Um, it has taken a season after that to like accept that that was not right. Yeah. But I think both of us moving forward, this is something we've talked about getting a little longer than I was planning. But uh, we, I think, have both come to terms with that now and um, are in doing our best to embrace this new season before us that is uh, for however long um, kidless. Um, mm -hmm. And there's a lot of heartache in that but there's also a lot of like freedom freedom in that that we wouldn't have otherwise and we want to step into and embrace yeah yep and then last sabbath we did really good for a while we did so we and wanted we fell off uh, the fell face of the air hard Our face. okay so sabbath is important it is in the ten commandments however we typically talk about all the other ten commandments without talking about the importance of sabbathing um and jesus when he was on earth also called us to rest and we as a society forget how important resting is and so merit and i wanted to establish a sabbath and so we started with it being on saturdays and we would not have our phones um until 12 o'clock and so that would mean we could we would do our quiet times we'd read the bible together um we would read we could play games we could go on a walk anything like that we just couldn't games have... like board games something yeah. together not like and no, no technology yeah no, no technology and so we did super super well and i really do think that i think we were doing pretty well until quarantine hit and then it was like well we're here all, all the time yeah yeah Actually, so, I think we had a conversation about that, like during that time. I kind of frank, like vaguely remember. Yeah. Um, also, with the resting, just a small point. I think 
there's a difference between resting and calling our resting um, vegging out on television or mm -hmm. on our phones and we we think we're resting games. because we're sitting on a couch or we're yeah. resting because we're not doing something active and that's actually not like what scripture calls resting yeah um and what was intended whenever he calls us to rest um that's completely different and so uh, that's why we we tried really hard to cut out um and, we, we tried really hard to cut out technology. And Resting is something that fills your soul. Yes. It makes you feel like rejuvenated. So sitting on the couch and scrolling through my phone does not Do bring fulfilling fulfillment T to my soul. Typically, in a way or another, it stirs up a insecurity. Okay, so now on to personal. You're up first. Oh boy. Read one book a month. <laughs> I don't even know if I got through January, <laughs> did I? I don't think you did. Oh man, uh, we gotta go two did. on that one. I think you started late and then it was just like, well that's not gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> it cleared me up for the rest of 2020 though, cause once you miss the first month, like why it's keep doing it? Yeah, uh, yeah, didn't do good. Complete marathon. Okay, well that was impossible. Uh, you're gonna see a pattern here on all of mine. Uh, complete marathon. That did that did end up becoming not impossible. I could have done virtual marathons. If I'd have been a really committed person to my goals, I could have done virtual marathons. However, I did not. I don't think you would have felt as accomplished if you had oh. done that. No. Okay. Uh, Y'all won't believe what happened. We were filming this video on Addie's phone and she randomly said, hey, will you go check it and make sure it's filming still? I did. It was not filming and it was because it ran out of storage. So we were looking at each other blankly like this sucks because now we have to go through delete stuff and pick up where we left off and the doorbell rang. And it we were like, we were like, who is at Who our is door? That? I like locked so, the door because I got nervous. Yeah, and so we looked at our camera and I saw a UPS truck on our road, on our street. And I said, no way. Addie opens the door and it's our GoPro. <laughs> so we are going to continue this filming in just a second. You guys, it's not gonna take any time because it's just gonna keep videoing. But for us, we gotta let it charge up and stuff. So we'll see you guys in a little bit. It's recording. Guys, this is on our official camera now. My final goal for the year of 2020 was to get in a routine of waking up at six mm -hmm. in the morning. Um, and, and you did that. I did that. Um, yes. Yeah, did that one. So, those were my goals. Okay, so now on to my goals. I'm not going to hold the board up because we agreed that was really awkward. Uh, my first one, read 20 books. It was like a... <laughs> it wasn't a full-on. I started off... <laughs> I started off so hot. Like, 11 books in four months. I was on a roll. I mean, you were on pace to smash it. Yeah, I could have probably reached that goal in six months. Yeah. Maybe less Easy. if I had kept. However, once quarantine hit, I stopped, which didn't make any sense because we had way more time. I mean, what we think we, what happened is that, is that I was stuck at home and became a major distraction. That was, I mean. That was part of it. Not some, all of it. But also, I just. It was just like when quarantine hit, all routines were thrown off. She just didn't off. pace herself. She went way too hard, way too soon. And she was tired of reading. Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Next, read Bible in chronological order. Doing it. I am currently doing it. I knew that I wouldn't... That's the... We're gonna have cheers. Yeah. 
I knew that I would not finish that in a year because I am very slow when I'm studying my Bible. I don't just read a couple of chapters and then put it down and then read a ch couple of chapters the next day. I read one chapter and do... A deep dive. A deep dive. I like study different commentaries. I might look at maps and videos depending on where I'm at. Um, so I go through the Bible very, very slowly. Um, but yeah, I am still doing that, still wanting to continue that. Um, don't sleep with phone by bed. <laughs> Started off well, fell off hard, back and forth. Mostly not. Finished book rough draft. So this took a turn. I started one book rough draft and then I got into a book proposal boot camp. And so now I'm Well, she started one book rough draft really good kind of like the reading the book thing mm -hmm. it was like being really committed to working on it and then it just abruptly stopped yeah and you weren't even like trying like visiting i think you like just were like like not doing it right now and then out of nowhere god was like well since you won't do it i'm gonna make you do it <laughs> but the book but it's completely different <laughs> anyway for the good for the good oh 100 yeah. percent so I'm in a book proposal boot camp, and that has helped me. So it looks differently than how it started. And then that's all. It's not all. <laughs> you were just telling me last time. Routine workout. <laughs> Routinely workout, though, because she said I it didn't. so quietly and fast. Routinely workout. I didn't do it. All right. So now goals. For 2021. Ooh. Should we do marriage ones first or our individual ones and then marriage ones? Let's do our individual I ones agree. first. You first. Me first? Yes, because I went first on talking about my 2020s. Poop. That's true. Okay, so um, one of my goals, moving, moving right along with the book proposal, um, I would like to send my book proposal out to publishers. The one? Two, not sleep with phone by bed. That is still one of my goals. We're changing it. Attempt two. Attempt number two. And we're going to make more strict boundaries. So what we're, we're going to do. That in a second. Marriage. No. No. Um, we're going to order an alarm clock. Um, three, I still want to read 20 books. Whoa. Um, number one is to complete a marathon. Um, so that was, like we said, a goal last year that got put on hold, but it's something I'm already working towards and have been, um, thinking about for the last month, uh, have a friend that is doing it with me. We've already got a marathon date. Um, number two, start and build my own YouTube channel. Hey. Uh, so with this, um, running is a thing I'm really passionate about. I catch myself frequently watching other YouTubers that specifically like all the time specifically have to do with running. And, um, I really love watching their stuff and I just think that it looks fun. Frankly, like I think it's, it looks fun to like teach about running through video and um, talk about my own running journey. And so with this marathon thing, I am 16 weeks away from the marathon and I am doing a, my first YouTube series is going to be a 16 week series of the journey to my first marathon. Uh, video will be dropped every Sunday on that. So, uh, my YouTube channel is just simply my name. We'll put it in the description, Merit Syndrome. Um, I want to read through six books of the Bible this year. I have this bad habit of starting one, getting several chapters, but just not finishing it mm. and moving on to the next one. I want to read it from beginning to end as far as six straight That's good. books. I like that. Uh, my last one is to have more, oh, this feels like sin coming out of my mouth. 
Um, not because there's anything bad with it, but because I'm, I've been so like against doing it for myself. But having more of a social media presence, um, I just think that's where things are moving and headed. Things are already there. I'm just slow to accept it. Yeah. Um, and with wanting to do my own business and personal coaching and with my YouTube channel, I just think I need to have more of a social media presence. I literally have nothing. Now onto our marriage goals. Marriage goals. So first, Sabbath. We have talked about this. That was, it, it's important to us. We it feel is. like it'll benefit us personally and our marriage. Mm -hmm. So going right along with that, continuing, phones off by 8 p.m. That's gonna be difficult. Did you guys hear that? Phones off. Like we cannot be on our phones after 8 p.m. Check back with us, hold us accountable on that one. Yeah, um, the next one, and this one makes my spine, like sends a chill down my spine. This is where so we are hard. so different. Be spontaneous. Ugh. I think being spontaneous is so cool. People who are spontaneous inspire me. Like, I think spontaneity is so awesome. But when someone wants me to do it, she like curls into her shell. And then finally, take a trip. Take a trip. And, and by this, we kind of mean like a kind of a bigger trip. Um, we got married in college, we're super poor and didn't have a honeymoon. Um, we have done one big trip where it was just her and I, um, and that was to Colorado in 2019. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. We loved it. Um, we did, but it was very short. Yeah, so. Those are our 2021 goals. Those are our goals, five hours later. Yes. We got here. So, share with us what your goals are, what you hope to be doing in 2021. Hit the like button, subscribe, yes. comment what your plans are for 2021, and don't forget, as 2021 moves along, have grace on yourself. Mm for when you do not hit those goals. Because obviously we just went through our 2020 goals. And we achieved like two of them. And we <laughs> barely, barely. Um, and that's okay. We, life happens. Life happens, we get back up, and we just keep going. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Happy New Year.